Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thanks for those who have been following along this water supply video uh, kind of series. This will be uh, part four. So this will be the one where we're setting a lot of the troughs, um, getting the next two thirds of it done. Um, one more pressure brake tank in and then to run down to the hill house um, to the existing scheme that's already down there. So um, yeah, brought four troughs up here this morning with the tractor and trailer. Just laid them out roughly and uh, we're down here my uh, trough I brought up last time. So to start off the trough setting process, what I normally do is scratch pad out, which I think is level enough just from the digger cab. And then we've got our level here. So we just have, have a bit of a look. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's not too bad. A couple of bits of scraping around with the shovel. Um, we'll get it, yeah, we'll actually get it not too bad. So, um, and then, yeah, there's a question in the last video about how we, what kind of, whether we come straight out of the bottom of the trough or whether we go under, um, and I'll show you what we do here. This one will be a bit different to when the trough is sitting on a flat too. So, uh, while I've got you here, don't forget to subscribe, please. Uh, yeah, we're ticking along quite well. Uh, give us a thumbs up and a chuck comment in the, in the comment section. So, we'll get the shovel out and uh, level this down. Yep, get to place in this trough. So now I've got our pad little leveled out pretty pretty good. Um, this here this hole here I've dug in the, the oh excuse me dug under the pipe um, yeah so that'll sit down in the hole like that um, and because it's going straight into the bank like that we can actually have it so yeah it comes straight out you'll see when I lift the trough up and put the fitting in underneath it so we'll get the trough chains connected on the digger so what we've got here 25 mil uh, male male and then a uh, 90 degree, female, female, um, girl pipe fitting. So, we're just gonna screw that in there like that. Oh, I need two hands. And then we've got our uh, 32 mil um, coupler, poly pipe coupler, male fitting on the end, so that'll screw into that female fitting on the 90. So we'll throw some thread tape on here, like so. A couple of wraps, screw that into there. So if this was on a flat paddock, the ground level will be about there. So if any erosion happens under the soil, uh, under the alongside the trough, they would actually come down and pretty much erode this away and then expose the pipe. So if it was flat, I would just come straight out of here, down probably 600 mils, um, half a meter, and then across to where my pipe is. But for this here, this is going straight into a bank so um, yeah, we won't have any issues of, of cattle uh, eroding away the fitting or the pipe. Um, so that should work fine here.
over about that far. I think that'll work pretty well there. See the fitting down the bottom of the hole. We'll just check it for level once more. side too far let's come back this way okay I'll play around with this and I'll come back you with it no. I'll play around with this and I'll come back with you when I have it set right So there we've got our trough setting pretty right, well very right because that's where it's going to go. Um, thought I'd just show you these trough chains, trough hooks. So at the bottom of all these troughs there's these three, three little galvanised uh, hooks, whatever you call them, that they they were made in here when they were cast, the trough was cast, and this hook just fits on like that, and then you put your hook from your digger on there, that way actually. Um, yeah, quite simple, really easy to use, easy to take off and on, yeah. Uh, right, next step is to cut that pipe, join it in, um, then if we're happy, we can start filling it all in. Just give us some room down here. So what I like to do is cut the pipe a wee bit long. Um, And then we can always just trim it to, to length wherever it needs to be. So it'll sit down like that. So if we take another 100 mil off or so. Well that's pretty much right. So the beauty with these fittings, if you unwind them, leave them still connected up. Slide your pipe inside them pretty good just there so I might just leave this um, connection exposed I can easily just shovel some of this stuff here and fill this gap up when uh, when it comes time to pressure test it so um, yeah we'll leave it like that traps the digger back up and uh, start on a T-joint I need to do Got our trench dug exposed to our main line here. Just gotta dig it out with the shovel a wee bit. So the T will go under there, pipe will come along here, under the fence, and onto this 32, which is our lateral, which goes to the trough. So hopefully we've got a small bit of pipe off cut there. It'll be enough to uh, join all these together. Got it all connected. Uh, yeah, lateral onto the main line, and then through to a joiner, and then to the trough. So yeah, it's got some turf it's holding the pipe down just while I fill it in, but we'll fill it in and then uh, that'll be it for today. It's about five o'clock or so. Yeah, by the time I get my stock work done in the morning, it's, um, yeah, I don't necessarily have much time for water supply stuff, but we're getting there. So see you tomorrow and uh, we'll carry on with this. G'day everybody, another day up here doing the water supply. I've just been plugging away, haven't filmed anything, but um, I thought I'd show you this wee bit. So we're putting two troughs, um, teeing it off one main line. So main line tees there, 32 mil pipe running through here, 32 mil tee here, that trough will be there. Next trough will be just through the fence in the other paddock. But what I wanted to show you was, um, so this one here is pretty well on flat level ground, this trough, and there's not enough room, it's pretty bedrock underneath, I can't dig any deeper with the digger um, with the tilt bucket on. So I can't get down enough to bend the pipe around and up. So I've just put a 90 degree uh, 32 mil fitting in there. It's a wee bit more expensive doing it that way, but it means that we know the pipe is well covered um, and it's not going to get damaged by stock when all the cattle start milling around here when they're wanting a drink so 
yeah we'll just keep plugging away at this um yeah we're getting there slowly but i'll carry on morning again so up here water supply ah oh, it's deja vu um so one thing i've also got to do as well as the water supply is um we ripped through some of these older under gate cables so it's just this um quite thin wire um, so we're replacing it with better uh, galvanized zinc coated uh, proper you know modern undergate cable and then we're also putting it in alkathene make sure it doesn't pinch on the rocks so as I've got the digger I'm going along and doing that um, takes a wee bit more time but makes it easier with the digger here so we've just got this one to do one more um, yeah Got our elk theme through and our undergate cable poking out each end. Um, these are just the old leftover pieces, yeah, poking out that end as well. So we'll fill it in and uh, move on to the next one. This is the second trough for today, and I'll just show you what I meant about uh, curling the pipe up. So we've got enough room here, soils. Um, uh, easy enough to dig I suppose because <laughs> um, that I can get down deep enough and I can just curve that pipe get out of it curve that pipe up and come with a straight fitting down and that means there's lots of room the stock aren't going to get in there and um, the stock aren't going to get in there and wreck that pipe oh, it's warming up uh, <laughs> the dogs are a bit um, the dogs are a bit disappointed there's not enough water so Oh, you're making the most of it, Elfie. Welcome back, another day. Today's Saturday, up here just trying to get this scheme done. Uh, weaning next week. Um, so I've got all the troughs in and the, then the next uh, pressure brake tank, the, the last pressure brake tank plumbed up. So I'm gonna turn this on, flush the system, uh, just quickly, and then I'll turn it off. We'll set some ball cocks, and then uh, yeah, we can let it run and fill up, hopefully. Right, we're gonna see where that water went. So finally, finally got this completed. We got our last pressure brake tank in. Well, not, it's not completely completed. Um, I've got to join it up just to run down to the existing scheme by the hill house there. But we've got all the troughs in, we've got all the ball cocks on. Um, I've still got to build some boxes around some taps and do the lagging around the pipes that are exposed. Little tiny bits and pieces, but the majority of it is done and the water is running. So. <laughs> that's so good um, next video on the water scheme will be just an overview we'll fly the drone over the whole thing show you what what the um, 
what it looks like and the reasons behind doing it all and then yeah show you the pump and the specs and and talk about that a wee bit as well so look out for that one it, it might be yeah a couple of weeks time we've got weaning coming up we've got um yeah some judging for some farm awards that we're in and a whole bunch of other stuff so thanks very much for watching um yeah don't forget to subscribe nearly what are we 9100 something like that so we're taking along really really well and uh we will see you in the next one bye